Some of you watched my video on designing rear hydraulics for my tractor. And so I wanted to take just a second to explain to you something I should have done a little bit different and how I corrected that. So when I purchased the valve, it had a maximum flow of about eight gallons per minute. I can't remember exactly what it was. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna need more than eight gallons a minute to do what I need to do. And then the next step up was another couple of hundred dollars. So I went ahead and bought that valve. Then when I installed it, I noticed, you know, as I would be out doing things with the, the RPMs of the tractor all the way up, the, my valve was getting hot. And so I looked into it and my tractor puts out almost 10 gallons per minute. And what I wasn't thinking about was, it's not about how much volume you need to send to your cylinders or something like that. It's how much volume can pass through the valve. Um, and so my tractor has an open hydraulic system. So that open system means that all of those eight gallons have to pass through a valve that's really only supposed to handle eight. So it moves through with a lot of, I guess, pressure and it, it causes heat. So I have to somehow figure out, so I should have bought the larger valve to fit the, the max volume of my tractor. So if you're doing that, you wanna make sure that you buy a valve that can handle the maximum volume of hydraulic fluid for your tractor. Now the way I fix that is this is a diverter valve. So I called Surplus City and I talked to them about how I might remedy it. And I had been looking at these valves and asked them would this work? And they said yes. So, so they make multiple different models and I'm not really gonna give you the numbers on any particular one. Just look for a flow diverter valve. So the way this thing works is this right here. And you can zoom in on that if it would help you. But anyway, what it does is, is you, you bring in all of your flow into here, and then you have a priority flow that comes out here, which will always stay the same, and then the excess flow goes this way, and you can adjust it with this screw. Now, some of them come just preset, and it'll do like five and 20, or something like that, so five, uh, five gallons per minute is constant flow to one port it'll always be five and anything excess will go somewhere else so the way i'm going to plumb this thing is i'll bring in my inlet here into the inlet port my priority flow will go to my valve that i'm using for my rear hydraulics and then all this excess flow will just go back to the tank and you could also send this excess flow to do something else it could go to another uh, another valve or something like that would work just fine and you could balance those out but I don't need that I just need it to de I just need to de decrease the flow from 10 to at least 8. Now he did caution me not to get it too low he said if you if your flow is too low then um, you know say if you if your max for your valve is 8 you really don't want it to be lower than probably 6 or 7 because if you get lower than that your hydraulics can be kind of jittery so anyway um, that's how I'm going to do mine. So if I'm looking at my valve, I've got to flip it over to match this diagram. So this is my inlet, and this is my priority, and this is my excess flow. So I'm not really going to show this thing installed. I just wanted to, to tell you the mistake that I had made, and then also give you an idea of if you've made the same mistake, how you might be able to correct that. Now, it's not cheap. I mean, it's costing me with fittings and stuff about another $150. So if I had just bought the more expensive valve I'd be money ahead but anyway or not really money ahead but equal money and much easier uh, issue there so anyway hope this was interesting to you thank you for watching